What's up guys, my name is AJ and I'm the Head of Performance for Resolve Esports and Performance Advisor for British Esports. Now, today we have question and answer number three and a fantastic question from at Junik777. We had a fantastic discussion in our DMs and I asked Junik if I could uh, put this out as a Q and A. Now, Junik's question was uh, relatively simple, but very complex at the same time. He asked, essentially, how do we improve our athletes' training routines? Now, uh, for me, this comes down to sort of three areas that we can do with relative ease to have a relatively high and immediate effect on our performance. Now, those three areas are number one, general well-being. Number two, thinking about our aims and our focus. And number three, generating self-awareness around break taking. Now, let's jump into this because this is pretty intense, but we'll go through and break down one, two and three. Now, number one, general well-being. The interesting thing about general well-being is this might not immediately jump to mind when we're talking about improving our in-game performance and the routines that we have around our performance. But this is incredibly important. And it basically comes down to our cognitive function, our brain's ability to work. Now, if you've ever had a rubbish night's sleep, and tried to play video games the next day or, or the next morning. If you've ever had uh, a heavy, pretty disgusting <laughs> meal in terms of uh, Mackey's, uh, pizza, like a Domino's or something like that, any fast food, and you've tried to play video games later, or if you've not really moved, you've stayed in bed for way longer than you should have done, you will feel this sort of fogginess. And it, it's really hard to describe uh, the exact feeling that comes with it, but you will feel this fogginess in your head, this weight in your brain. Now, all of these three things are really important to improving our training routines. And you must, must, must remember that esports is a cognitive exercise. It's not like traditional sports where uh, we mostly use our body and our body will pack in at some point through cardio or uh, muscle fatigue. Uh, you don't really have that in esports and you have to remember it's all to do with our brain. So those are the three sort of really important areas that I would recommend people work on in their, uh, in their training routines. Bit of movement, good sleep and good food. This is key, absolutely key, to making sure that you have long-term high performance. So, you don't have to start by going crazy and going to the gym seven times a week, running a marathon every other day. Keep it nice and simple to begin with. A bit of movement, let's have some exercise. This could be going to the gym one, two, three times a week. This could be doing a 20 minute walk every day. Uh, if you have a dog, if you can see mine right there, wrong side. There we go, there's, uh, there's our dog, Lily. Taking the dog out for a walk in the morning, that's a really good place to start. When it comes to diet, just keep it nice and simple, what I would call the perfect plate. Split your plate into three sections. The first section is gonna be a fruit or veg. The second section is gonna be a complex, preferably, but a carbohydrate. And the third section is gonna be a protein. If you've got that every meal, you'll do pretty good. Final section is obviously sleep. Making sure that you have somewhere between seven to nine hours of sleep, it does differ and massively differs from person to person, but that is a really good place to start as well. Seven to nine hours, keep your wake time relatively similar. Okay, number two, aim or focus. Now, this is something that is often completely missed by people. What we generally do is we jump into Rocket League, we jump into League of Legends, whatever the game might be, and we just play. This is what I would call autopilot, and for me, autopilot is one of the biggest hindrances to performance improvement. Now, aim and focus, what do I mean by that? Well, you need to make sure that as you go into your day, your training practice, your training routine, you need to make sure that you have one to three things that you are aiming or focusing upon. This is incredibly important. Now, if you are lucky enough to be signed to a team or you have a coach that you can work with, utilize that individual. Talk to your coach, what can I improve upon? What do I need to do better? If you don't, and you need to figure this out on your own. If you have no idea what needs to be done to improve your gameplay, start by simply recording your games. We're gonna take you through what's called a review, plan, do model. So, we start with the review. Record your games. Once you've finished a couple games, sit down and go over them. Think to yourself, what can I be doing better? And it might even help to compare yourself to one of the best in the world. So look at someone's uh, VODs, their, their replays, uh, and analyze what the best in the world are doing and see where you are missing. Is it that the ball's not close enough? Is it that uh, your boost management's really poor? Compare yourself, that's a really good place to start. Then you get onto the plan model. 
So, now you've reviewed everything, you need to plan what you need to be doing to be getting better. So, the plan might be, uh, in my next three solo queue games, I want to be making sure that the ball is really close to my car. If it's League of Legends, you might want to be thinking about making sure that your CS numbers uh, are, are consistently above your lane opponents. Once you've reviewed, once you've planned, now it's time to put it into action. You do. Once you've done all of that, you play a few games, and then at the end of it, the cycle continues. So you go back to the review stage. Did I achieve what I set out to achieve? Review the games at the end of the day and say, did I keep the ball close to my car? Were my CS numbers above my lane opponent consistently? And that is exactly how you can start to implement and utilize this cycle of the review, plan, do model to its best effect. Interestingly, this, this, this cycle can be uh, taken at a different point. So uh, if, you need, if you know what you need to improve upon, start with the plan, then attempt to do it, and then review again after. So that cycle can be uh, jumped in on at any point. Okay, number three. Now this is a slightly difficult one because originally when I was speaking to Junik, the first thing that popped into my head was break taking. And this is really, really important to ensure uh, sort of long-term adherence to, uh, to your aim and your focus, but also long-term adherence to playing the game relatively consistently. The problem with break-taking is, um, if I, as a performance coach, as a head of performance, or maybe your Rocket League coach, your, your, your strategist, whatever it might be, your manager, tells you just go and take breaks, you'll sort of uh, take breaks here and there, not really knowing when you need to take a break, why you're taking a break. So for me, it's really important. We wanna make sure that there is no athlete coach dependence. I, I do this all the time, and this is why I don't, I'm not very prescriptive when it comes to meal plans, for example, because I don't want to just give my athletes a meal plan that they mindlessly follow. I want them to understand why that meal plan is in place. I want them to understand how do I think about making sure that my diet is in a really good spot. So if you have that athlete coach dependence where the athlete needs the coach to improve in some capacity, whether it's they need me to make sure that their diet is on track, they need me to make sure that their exercise is going to plan, you won't be getting the most out of the person that you are working with. So this sort of uh, changed from break taking to generating self-awareness around break taking and it is slightly different so what I want out of my players is I want them to realize ah I need to take a break now and here's why so you as an individual as a player will start to notice certain signs that point at the fact that you need to take a break you need to stop playing the game these could be things like you become easily slighted so you get frustrated really quickly uh, and maybe you get frustrated quicker than you normally would or you get more frustrated uh, than you would originally. It could be like losing focus regularly and quickly. Like immediately you're going into autopilot and you're not thinking about the game. Maybe you're struggling to concentrate. Or after two to five minutes, your attention starts to waver. The final thing that, it, that sort of spring to my mind at least uh, to say that you need to take a break might be a distinct drop in in-game performance. So if you know that you are playing significantly worse than you normally would, maybe you're missing the ball, maybe in league you're missing CS, essentially you need to start to realize when you're making mistakes on things that historically and normally you wouldn't be making mistakes on. If you can start to spot the signs that say, I need to take a break, I need to give my mind a rest, I need to give my eyes a rest, um, this is really, really important because then you can stop you can take 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour away from the game. Maybe you can go and get some water. Maybe you can go for a walk. Uh, maybe you can get some fresh air. You can then come back to the game refreshed and ready to improve once again, reminding yourself of the aims and the focus as well. Interestingly, break taking uh, is a, also a really good way to get in some uh, some help with your general well-being. Maybe you, you need to eat. Maybe you need to go for a walk, as I say. Um, or maybe you need a 20 minute nap because you didn't sleep very well last night. So what I want out of my players and what I implore everyone to do is to generate some self-awareness around break taking. Okay, so there you have it. Junik, obviously we spoke about this in DMs, but I hope this answers your question again. Um, this was a really, really interesting question and this is the sort of stuff that I love talking about because this is stuff that we do daily at Resolve. So to recap, the question was, how do we improve athletes training routines? And these are three things that you can do with immediate effect that is going to improve them. They were, improve your general well-being, 
think about diet, sleep and exercise a little bit more often. Number two, have an aim and focus for your training so you don't immediately go into autopilot and you can track your progression. And number three, generate self-awareness around break taking. Understand when you as an individual need to take a break and step away from the game. I hope you have enjoyed this Q&A. It's the third one. Please keep the questions coming. I absolutely love doing these videos and I love delving into these topics that come up. So have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one.